Hi, my name is Pamela, and this is Desha. I work from NWB, and right now we're just cooking. Uh, we're making dinner. So right now, uh, we've chopped up some fresh garlic, some fresh plantain. These are the skins right here. And we've also got some sweet potato. And you'll notice that we put all our compost in this little bin right here, and this goes to our goat, Sheila. And she loves it. So here we've got some sweet beans. Soaked, soaked some black beans yeah. for 24 to 36 hours. And we're just oiling them with some star of anise for a little bit of pizzazz and some sea salt. Once they boil for about 10, 15 minutes. Welcome back. You can see that our black beans and star of anise are bubbling nicely. Unfortunately, you cannot smell the deliciousness. And we have our sweet potato and our plantain. So we actually just poured off some of the water and put it into a little pan here to save the reserve water to add to our sauce a little bit later. At this point, we're now going to add a little bit of garlic, actually a whole head of garlic, to the beans and the anise mixture, as well as some oil. We've added a whole head of garlic because it tastes delicious and also because we're in Haiti. It helps keep the mosquitoes away. So to this, we're also going to add some fresh lime juice. Yeah, we're actually teeny tiny little limes, kind of like key limes. But here in Haiti, they're just called citron. Citron. So we're putting in two limes, which is probably the equivalent of a half a lime back home, because they're pretty tiny. So now our mixture of plantain and sweet potato have been boiling for about 10 minutes. And we're just going to move it around and see how soft it is. Plantain is pretty soft. At this point, we've cooked our plantain and sweet potato for about 12 minutes. And we've drained off the water. And now we're just smashing it. We're also adding a little bit of sea salt and basil to add some flavoring. If it's too dry, we'll add some of the bean water that we saved to make it be a nice fluffy, soft mashed potato consistency. Okay, so now we're going to cut up a Haitian avocado, also known as zabuca. And if you take a look at it, you can see it's actually quite large. Um, avocado is a great source of potassium. It's actually double that of banana. And also here in Haiti, it tastes a lot like butter. So we're just going to cut right into it. Go all the way around. Oh, it's soft. Whoa, and it just pops right out. <laughs> um, just gonna score the inside. you get any of the star anise pieces, just chew lightly so you don't hurt yourself. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to add a scoop of our plantain and sweet potato mash. A little bit more. Mash them up after cooking. We added a little bit of the bean water, which had that nice garlic and star of anise flavor. And we're going to now add some avocado here. And then to finish it off, a little bit of salt. And a little, a little more basil. And we'll just slice up this lime. And add a little bit of juice the whole thing. And now, bon appetit. get ready to eat. Yay. Yay. Fiber, <laughs> carbs, healthy fats, healthy fats, antioxidants, protein, vitamins. It's all here. Mm. How is it? <laughs> mm. It's really it's delicious. delicious.